Welcome to Auto Gafool. I'm here with a Golf Mark 1 GTI, and the reason that I'm doing that is because it's very similar in size to the brand new Up GTI. This stands at 3 meters 70. The new Up is just 3 meters 60 or 11 foot 8, and actually boasts a similar power. We're going to take a look at it in just a minute, but it'd be kind of rude to do that without showing you the beauty that was the original. Of course we wanted to bring you the moderations directly from the stage with the up, but sadly they were playing very loud music that we don't own the copyright to. So we thought it was best to move somewhere else where we could tell you all about the up. And what better place to come than the TCR. Does the up look different to you now? It should. It's 15 millimeters shorter now. It's been reduced and that really gives it its sporty look. I really like the way that they've used features from the GTI line to make the look really special. The red signature line on the front and the GTI logo on the side really give the up the GTI feeling. Moving round the car, the 17 inch rims certainly don't hurt the sporty feel and that's continued through into the back with the larger than average spoiler on the rear. I really like the way that the red design lines are featured on the up in the same way that they are on the rest of the GTI line, across the front, nice and bold, making the car altogether look much more agile and much more sporty. The launch date for the up GTI is due to be January of next year, and when it launches it should come in at around about €17,000. Ouch! That does make it the most expensive up ever. However, for that money it does come fairly nicely equipped as standard. Part of that is nice to know that the styling that's so successful outside of the car has been continued inside. If you have a look at the seats, you'll notice that the traditional GTI cloth has been used. That really does help to continue the feeling inside. I don't know right off the top of my head if I'm in love with this dashboard. It's a checkered sort of, I would describe as fun, sporty look, but it is in keeping with the up generally. We do have a leather GTI steering wheel and a special gear stick just to let us know what we're in. There isn't a huge amount else that's been changed here. You will remember the smartphone display mount from the regular up. That obviously instead of having a large display screen we have a much smaller one and then a standard readout display right in the middle of the cockpit. Obviously this car is all about the driving. So, sorry, it's quite hot in here, as you can probably see. <laughs> Although um, there aren't masses amounts of details inside that let you know that this car is special, it does come equipped with a Beats audio system, and we know that from the up, that's very nice indeed. Uh, I'm hoping that all the care and attention has got into the engine. Let's take a look at that. This is a three-cylinder, one-litre TSI petrol engine. It produces 115 horsepower. That's five more than the original Golf GTI. It's also putting out 200 newton meters of torque, and as you can see, it's quite compactly placed within the engine compartment. It goes right back into the car. Hopefully, it will be as much fun to drive as it is to look at. Dr. Dees, welcome to Autogafuel. Thank you so much for joining us. It's very exciting to be here today at the Diversity Festival. I understand that you have something rather special that you're introducing us to today. Definitely, no? and we are very proud and uh, excited about bringing a new GTI. Uh, it's up GTI, it's something we uh, only one and a half years ago we, we were thinking about that we probably after all those GTIs which are very modern and state of the art uh, and still very much GTI, think about the past. No? Last year we celebrated 40 years of GTI and the first one, no, number one, uh, was really a car which is 
very much has a lot of characteristics of the car we are bringing here. It's below one a ton, uh, below 1,000 kilos weight. Uh, it accelerates a bit fast. It has a bit of torque, a better engine probably. But the, the driving experience is very, very similar, probably a bit better than the first uh, or sh second GTI. And we just, we just saw that it's probably time to also bring something forward where we really concentrate once again on lightweight, on probably not the highest uh, uh, engine power, but uh, as an experience similar to the first GTIs. Well, thank you so much. And talking of the first GTI, we have one with us here today because the sizing of both cars is actually very similar. Obviously, since the introduction of the original GTI, cars have grown quite a lot in length. Were there any particular challenges about putting the GTI concept in the much smaller car? Uh, we, had, we had a very, very good basis because it's really the, uh, the up has a very stiff body. Now it has uh, quite a, a, a good axle for making it uh, sporty. It has, has good steering, but we improved it on, on all aspects. Huh? And though we, we put all the ingredients of GTI in, now we lowered the suspension, we, we, we strengthened the, the, the body a little bit and the outcome is really uh, I think a little bit better than the first one but the same same feeling and experience. Well it looks absolutely amazing so I have to ask you the question that everybody wants to know when are we going to be able to buy one? Yeah, in January the car should be at the dealerships, January 2018. So before we will already have some uh, press cars uh, to be tested and, and compared with others. We are very excited about that. But January you should find the car in your dealer and you should, you, you should probably book a test drive then. That's fantastic. Dr. Dees, thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for the new exciting GTI family member. Thank you, Autogefühl. <laughs> That just about wraps it up for us at the launch of the UP GTI. Well, we've had a really good day and hopefully you've enjoyed seeing it. We can't wait to give it a try, obviously. In terms of summing up, I think they've done a really nice job with the design. It looks completely suited to the GTI line. The lowering really works well and the styling's nice too. I'm not in love with the dashboard, but you know, you can't have everything. Meanwhile, we hope we'll see you again soon. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Please subscribe. And if you know anyone who can get me one of these, let me know.